Hey guys, I am Saurav. I am working at PwC as a data analyst and I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to discuss two Power BI questions that were asked in an interview at Accenture. Both are scenario based questions and remember these kind of questions test your problem solving ability more than your technical skill. So make sure you watch till the end. And here's the thing. If you can answer these two questions in an interview, then you will stand out from 90% of candidates. So let's dive in. In the first question, the interviewer has asked that we have two pages and in both the pages, we have the year filter or year slicer. And what he wants is that if 2016 is selected in this page, the same should be selected in this year filter as well. In the first page, there is a bar chart called orders by segment which shows the number of orders by each segment. There are three segments in this case. And this data comes from the orders table. You can see order ID, count of order ID is taken here and the segment is taken in the X axis. Similarly, in the ship mode page, we have orders by ship mode. The fields are here. Ship mode is in the x-axis and count of order ID is in the y-axis. The same filter, the same slicer has been used in the segment page as well. So now if we select 2014, 15, 16, 17, you can see this slicer is working on this bar chart. Now 2017 is selected in this page. If we go to ship mode, it's 2016 is selected in this page. And if we change this, it, this does not affect this slicer. So to implement the logic which the interviewer has asked, we need to select one slicer, go to the view option and you will find the option sync slicers. After you click on sync slicer, you can see there are the page names that appear here. So now this slicer is selected. We can select the ship mode page and segment page. What this will do is sync both the slicers in both the pages. So now 2017 is selected here. If we move to the ship mode page, you see the same thing is selected over here. If we select 2015, this will get changed. If we select 2014, this will again get changed. So I hope you understood how we implemented this logic. The functionality which you need to remember is sync slicers. It is very useful and not only two pages, but it can be used in multiple pages. And sync slicers can be used in more than two pages, how many ever pages you want. This is really helpful when you have a large dashboard with multiple pages, 10, 15 pages over there and you have a similar slicer which you need to filter upon all the pages. Now let's move on to the next question. In question 2, the interviewer is asking us to create a report which will show the top 3 products by sales for each region. For this, we have to take a table first. So we can create a table from here and in the table what we want is our product name and we will take sum of sales, yep. We don't need the total so we can turn the values off and the most important thing is region. To calculate the top three products, what we need is the rank function. By using the rank function, we can create a measure which will give us the ranks of the products by sales. I've already created that measure and named it rank sales. So here I've used the rank x function at first, then all orders product name. So what this does is removes all the filters from product name. In the next part, we calculate the sum of sales. So now we can drag the rank sales into this table and sort it by ascending order. 
can see these ranks 1, 2, 3, 4. But we only need the top 3 ranks. To do that, we can select this table. Go to filters. In the filters for rank sales, we can do is less than 4. Apply it. So we will have only the top 3 results, top 3 ranks. Still, it's a little confusing. So I'm going to add a slicer over here. And in the slicer, I will select the region. Let me put it in the right place. Yeah. We select central. You can see the top three ranks, the top three products for central by sales. And we can validate it as well. You can see 17,500 is rank 1, 14,000 is rank 2, 11,000 is rank 3. For east, 30,000 rank 1, 14,000 rank 2, 11,000 rank 3. And similarly for south and west as well. To solve this second question, we have used rank x function in order to calculate the ranks by sales. In an interview, don't just write DAX. Explain your thought process to the interviewer. The interviewer values that the most. If you found this video helpful, then please subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends who might need it for an interview. Also, let me know in the comments what do you want me to cover in the next video? Thank you so much.